Hi everyone. Let us continue with our lesson on method of iteration. Now in this lesson, we are going to learn the convergence of iterations. It means that the process of iteration sometimes may converge to a root. Sometimes it may not. But sometimes the iteration diverge as the sequence of the approximation does not reach a limit. The value of the approximation becomes bigger and bigger. Now let me show you how convergence of iteration is affected by different factors. Now let us see the first one. A different iterative formula with the same starting value can converge to a different root. Now let me show you an example. Now let's say you are asked to solve this equation using method of iteration. Now, you need to arrange into x equal fx. So you can choose to use this iterative formula. You can rearrange it into this form. x equal cube root of 12x plus 5. Or you may choose to rearrange it into this form. This is another iterative formula. Now both of these iterative formula come from the same equation. Now I'm going to show you how I start the iteration using the same initial value but of different iterative formula. We want to see what is the outcome. Now for this iterative formula, I am going to show you the visual representation of how the same starting value will lead you to different root. Now as you can see in this uh, graph, this black line is y equal x and the red line, the red curve is uh, y equal cube root of 12x plus 5. Whereas for this iterative formula, this is y equal x, the black line and the red curve is x power 3 minus 5 over 12. Now, let's say the initial, the initial approximation is uh, 2. We are going to start using x naught equals 2. Okay, now let's see the visual representation. Now, from 2 as the starting value, if you substitute into the equation, it will lead you to the next approximation, which is over here. And if I continue, you will go on, you will reach a limit over here, which means this initial value by using this iterative formula will lead you to this root which is 3.6561. Now we come over this side. We are going to use the same initial value as not equals to, but this time we are going to use this iterative formula. Now as, as you see in the visual, now 2 will be here. Now if I start with this 2, it will lead you to here. And if I continue, it will lead you to this root. 
over here negative 0 0.4154 so from here you can see that from if uh, if we if we use a different iterative formula with the same initial approximation it, it can converge to a different route now the next one we want to see what will happen if if we use the same iterative formula with a different starting value now we're going to use the same example now let's say we use this iterative formula x equal cube root of 12 x plus 5 I'm going to show you using this visual. Now, as you can see, there are there are three roots. One here, one here, one here. There are three different roots for this equation. Now, what if I use a two as the initial approximation? If I use 2, it shows you, it will lead you to this root. If I use negative 2 as the initial approximation, let's see what happens. Negative 2 will be here. So, if I substitute into the formula, the iteration will lead you to this root here so as you can see we can conclude that the same iterative formula with a different starting value can lead to a different root let me show you with another iterative formula let's say we try with this one This is the graphs. Now, what if I start with 2 as the initial approximation? Now, as you can see here, if I use 2 and I substitute into the equation, it will lead you to this root. Yeah. What if I use another approximate another initial approximation? If I start with negative two, negative two, the same iterative formula. Negative two will be here. See negative two. If you substitute into the formula, you can see that it will lead you to the same root here. So, what does it mean? It means sometimes with the same iterative formula, but with different starting value, different starting value, it can lead you to the same root can sometimes it lead you to the same root what if I start with 4 s not equals 4 here so if I start with 4 you can see that the iteration will become bigger and bigger it means it will diverge the iteration will diverge you will not reach a limit so it means the same iterative formula with a different starting value can lead you to a different route 
or even a diverging sequence or sometimes it can lead you to the same route. So how do we know if an iterative sequence will converge? How do we know which rearranged form or which iterative formula to use? We are going to use the first derivative of fx to test whether the iterative sequence will converge or diverge. The iterative sequence converges if f prime s not is between this range negative one to one. S naught is the initial approximation. Usually it is given to you. So you just find the uh, first derivative or you differentiate this f, fx, and then you substitute with the initial approximation. And if the answer is between negative one to one, that means this iterative formula is suitable to be used to find uh, the, the approximation of the root. But if the value of f prime x naught is out of this range, means it is either less than negative 1 or more than 1, then the iteration will diverge which means the iterative formula is not suitable or the initial approximation used will not lead you to the specific root. All right, let me show you with an example. Now let's turn to checkpoint 12.2, question 9. Now if you read question 9, the earlier part of the question, you use the graphical method to show that it has only one real root. Now the second part of the question, they ask you to, to determine which of these rearranged form is suitable for the use of iteration. So I'm going to show you for this part, the second part. Here. Now, we are going to test this first, A. Now, this is your Fx. Right? So, first, you must differentiate it you get f prime x you will get this means you differentiate here you should get this answer all right now the question says estimate the root by using x not equals 2 so i'm going to take this 2 and substitute into here and i get negative 4 Negative 4 is less than negative 1. It means it is out of the range. So, conclusion, the iteration will diverge. That means this iterative formula is not suitable to be used to estimate this root. What if we use, uh, what if we test this one? I'm going to differentiate this. I will get this. Now again, I'm going to substitute x not equal to into uh, f prime x. I will get this, which is also less than negative one. It's out of the range. This iterative iterative formula is also not suitable. You will diverge. 
Now let's see what if it. Uh, let's see whether C will give you the answer. Again, I differentiate this. I will get this, and I substitute two. I get negative 0 0.2311. Yes, it is within negative 1 and 1. So conclusion, the iteration converge to the root. Therefore, C is suitable to be used. This is suitable to be used. Then you continue by using this iterative formula. You repeat the process until you get the root and then round off to three significant figures. So I hope all of you can fully understand this lesson. You, you try checkpoint 12.2 question 8 to 12. Now we have completed the syllabus of term 2. All right, so you try all the trial trial papers that I'm going to uh, upload onto the WhatsApp group, and then if you have any question, you just post it in the group, and then we discuss it in the group. All right, all the best. Thank you.